Gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I'm Killinger, and today we're checking out another product from Vever. And I picked this up from Vever because I think, let me take these glasses off. I think this might be a really good way to store axes and not display them so much, but store axes that I use all the time. Like I really don't have a good way of keeping my axes organized <laughs> that I use constantly. I mean, obviously you can hang axes on the wall on hooks and stuff and they look great up there, but if you're using them, that's not ideal. So I picked this product up. I figured we'd put it together and see if it will work for what I want it to do. It's a, uh, it is a garden tool, garden tool uh, rack. I guess they call it a garden tool rack. But I thought it might work. I thought it might work for a good way to store access. So let's get this thing out of the box and get it put together. It looks like it's in about a million different pieces here. Some assembly required. Right, guys there it is all assembled pretty straightforward it gives you an option for wheels or you can put these uh, pads on the bottom that you know you can level out level the unit out whatever I want to mine on wheels I want to be able to uh, move this around uh, one thing I don't understand is it did come with an extra mesh panel I, I don't see anywhere for it um so i don't know oh, yeah i don't know what it's for maybe they just made a mistake maybe there's a different configuration i'm not real sure um, did come with some of these hooks that you can put on the side for hanging things. And uh, I don't know where we'll put these yet. But lots of options here. So this is designed for shovels and rakes to fit down inside these holes and uh, give you a way to store some of your outdoor hand tools. I want to try and use it to store axes somehow. It's a lot smaller than I thought it was uh, in the pictures, but nevertheless, it'll. Uh, I think it's gonna work. So I'm gonna get some of this mess cleaned up and get this on the floor and then we'll try storing axes in it and see, I might have to modify some of this to get it to work how I want it to. We'll see. And if, if I don't think I can do that, then I'm just gonna use it as intended. And that is a garden tool rack. So it's a win-win either way. All right, we got this thing set up uh, where I think I want it here in the shop. I want it right next to the door. So when I walk in the door, I can just grab the ax I want and head on out. Spoiler alert, I've already loaded this up once just to see how things were going so that I knew what I was gonna film here. 
and this works perfect. I'm actually, I think I'm gonna go buy a second one because I have a problem and I'll show you that here in a minute. Um, but I went ahead and loaded a double bit in here because I'm not going to be storing any double bits in this. My idea is I'm, I want this for my most used axes so they're readily available, easy to get to. I don't use double bits very often, if ever. I mean, I, I, I've used them, but I'm not a big fan of double bits. So most of my axes are single bits. But I did put a double bit in here. We'll take a closer look so you can see it does in fact fit perfectly. And then we'll go over to the table here and I've got a pile of axes <laughs> that are mostly my users. Uh, there's a few exceptions. So I'm gonna try and fit as many of those axes into this as I can. And I also have a couple over here that I'd like to, to get out of that and put in here. But like I said, I think I'm gonna buy a second one of these just so I can have most of my axes that I use ready to go. All right, let's take a look at this double bit and then we'll go over to the table. We'll, we'll look at that. So this is a cruiser double bit and it fits in there no problem. Uh, a full size double bit would do the same. And it sits nice and secure. I don't know what else to say. I mean, it, it, it's perfect. You could probably put, I don't know, several double bits because you could put one there and then one in this front one and the blades are gonna intersect. So two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, easy, 16 double bits easy right across the center there. And then you could probably do a couple down the sides. Uh, so probably, probably 20 double bits would get in this section without an issue at all. And then you have all the trays and the, the bottom section for whatever else. So now let's load it up with what, well, I'll t we'll go over to the bench. I'll show you what I got. And then let's load this thing up with all those axes. See how many we can fit. So this is what we have. <laughs> uh, there's a lot, I know, but, um, I like axes. So anyways, let's take a deep dive real quick. I don't want to get too involved, but I, I'll just kind of give you guys an idea of what, what's going on here. We have all the Adler axes, the long splitter, the super splitter, the short splitter, and their, their little hatchet that they sent me. I can't remember what this thing's called, but it's a sweet little hatchet. Although I don't use hatchets very often, I am going to put it in this rack so I know where it is immediately when I do want to use it. I've got a finish ax over here. I've got a Hudson Bay uh, Collins. Um, those are more of my bushcraft axes. I have my whole lineup of Gransford Brock axes. Every single one of these axes get used in some fashion or the other or going to be used. Like I haven't used my hewing axe yet. That's coming soon. But I want quick, easy access to all of these if possible. Then over here, we have some of the council tool axes that I use, my finish axe that I had commissioned by Marcus Lupus. I can't remember his name for sure or how to pronounce it. We have another finish axe that's more of a bushcraft axe. Then a couple miscellaneous Hudson Bay council tool axes and double bit saddle axe. And then we have the camp no, it's not the Camp Carver. It's one of the council tool, I can't remember which one it is, bushcraft axe and then a boy's axe. So let's get, let's get all this over here. Yes, I know the handle's broken on my super splitter. I'm planning on fixing it. Coming soon to a YouTube video near you.
Well guys, that's uh, that's a nice amount of axes in there. What do we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So we got 21 axes in the top rack alone. Three more on this side. That's 24. We got one more on this side. That's 25. And then down below here, we've got plenty of room for many more hatchets. I think for now, that's about all I'm going to put in there. I'm sure as I find hatchets or whatever, I'll throw them down here. But And as a bonus, even had room here for my saws. This is my big silky katana boy. I use that a lot. And then uh, I can't remember which silky that is. Another silky pocket boy, I believe. And that's the old school. Yeah, I can't remember what they call that. But pretty nice. I, I like it because I can really just grab whatever axe I want without moving any other axes. Pull it right out. Got a couple up here without sheaths on them. I'll have to pay attention so I don't cut myself. That one's sharp. Might move it to the back. But, uh, you know, got all my, my Adlers in here, my super splitter, my long splitter. Got the old council tool FE6 right there. That's a big monster axe. And I'll tell you what, that's one of the best splitting axes council tool makes. It's not even for splitting. All my finish axes. Yeah, that's, it turned out nice. That's, that's a huge, huge win right there. I, I'm telling you, I think I'm going to buy another one because I still have most of these axes. A lot of these axes I use quite often. I like using them. Vever comes to the rescue again. All right, guys, I think we're going to wrap the video up here. Thing worked out perfect. If you guys are looking for something like this, I'll put a link in the description down below, and you can pick one up yourself. I'll tell you, it's solid, too. It, it, you could, it doesn't feel like it's going to tip or anything. I, can't, I don't understand how that works. I thought too much weight on the back there would make it want to tip, but it doesn't. It's, uh, it's very stable. You can roll this thing wherever you want it. But till next time, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.